Hi, my name's Reese from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. Today, teaching you how to play the guitar solo from the Kiss song all the way. It sounds like this. <laughs> So let's break that down into phrases, show you how to play it. Before we begin, our tuning is flat, like most of the KISS catalog. So we've got E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. And it might help if you also know your minor pentatonic scale, if you haven't learned that before, just look in the video description below or the tab appearing above me now and take in my lesson on how to play that scale. Very important to know if you're learning some Ace Freely solos. So I'll start with this scale position right up at the 17th fret and bending at 20th fret of your second string. So it really comes into this solo with a bang. So phrase one, So let's go through that. The bend at 20 with slight vibrato. Again. Then bend with very fast vibrato. Following that, flatten out your first finger at 17th fret. Before that, 19 on your fourth string. So bend, bend. Fast, fast. Twice we'll be playing 19. Flattening out third finger at 19, so 19 to 17. And then 20th fret on your first string. Three bends there. So just putting that phrase one together. Bend, bend, fast, fast. Pause the video, start to learn phrase one. And when you're ready, let's get to phrase two. Phrase number two. So I'm going to break that into three parts. What I've done there, a little pattern using the scale, 20 and 17 on first string and 20 on second string. 20, 17, 20, 17. You can hear the string changes. And then two more 20s. Same pattern. But now, starting it on second string, 20, 17, that means 19 on third string. Following this, bend your 19, then grab your 20 on first string. So bend and hold, 20, return bend. And then a typical ace finish to the phrase. A fast bend and return at 19 on the third string. And pull off to 17 on third string. 19, 17. And then a slower bend and return. And finish on 19 of your fourth string. The root note. Mm. 
that is phrase number two. Pause this video when you're ready. Looks good. Let's look at phrase number three. Phrase number three, we've got this pattern. So it's the same set of notes each string. Eight, seven, eight, seven and five. Also do it with different fingers. I'm going to do it with the pinky at the moment. So seven eight seven is a hammer on and pull off, and then to the five, and then you're up at eight on your next string. Seven eight seven five eight on the next string. Then do the same thing. Eight seven eight seven five. This time land at nine. Uh, seven, sorry. Seven on your third string. And then repeating the, the pattern. This time your finish note is seven on the fourth string. And then finish seven on fifth string. Eight, seven. Seven, seven. Pause this video, start to put those phrases together and I recommend grabbing uh, a tool like the amazing Slowdowner or you can slow down the videos here on YouTube as well, which is very helpful. Um, when you're ready, let's get the phrase number four. Four. So what I'm doing here, a number of uh, Chuck Berry style licks, a bend, we're back at the 5th fret pentatonic now, a bend at 7 on the 3rd string, to the 5 on 2nd string, then back to natural 7, normal 7, no bend. 5, 8, 5 on your 2nd string. You play that three times in a row. Then a, a hammer on a pull off is added to that. So same start. Five eight five hammer on a pull off, and then seven and five. That's it. So the difference three, and then it does it three times, but times two and three, you're staying on that seventh fret on the third string note longer. First half. And then some over bends. Five into seven and lots of bending. So a two tone bend, as long as you're reaching that 11th fret note sound. Very much a Jimmy Page type thing. That is phrase number four. Pause the video. When you're ready, we're almost getting to the end of the solo. Phrase number five. We've just come off the overbends. Little four note pattern. Seven, five on third string. Seven on fourth, back to five. Then this pattern, seven and five on fourth string, to seven on your fifth string, 
then to 5th fret on your 3rd string. So, what this phrase number 5 is, we've just had the over bends. Just hit two fives on the end. And that's the end of the phrase, a lot shorter one before we hit up the very end of the solo with phrase number six. Pause it, add it to what you've already done, and let's finish the solo off next. Phrase number six, we're gonna follow the chords of B to D by moving our pentatonics with it. So seventh fret now is what we'll do to start this phrase number six. Um, so bend at ninth fret of your third string and then first finger covers off fret seven at strings one and two. And then ten seven on second string. And that is what we'll do in over the B chord. And then moving up to the D chord, so 10th fret, we move up to for our position. A bend at 12th fret. Very typical ace lick there, the Chuck Berry type thing again. 12 tens across first and second string. And then pull off. 13 to 10. So you do three of those. And then at the end, two pumps of that bend with your 10th fret of the second string included. And then off into the last chorus it goes that is all the phrases of the solo. Let me just go through that again, slow down with the clean tone on, and I'll try and call out the phrases as I go along. So we've got part one, phrase one. solo off the awesome Hotter Than Hell album. If you've learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. I've almost completed every single Ace Freely solo from the Kiss era. Uh, lessons for those on this channel. If you've got any requests, comments, or anything you'd like to add, please just leave them here on this video and I'll get around to answering them as soon as possible. Stay safe everybody, look after yourselves, happy playing.